Hey everybody, it's Tara Freed, listing specialist on the Front Door Realty team. And today I wanted to do a couple more home seller questions. Hey everybody, it's Tara Freed, listing specialist on the Front Door Realty team. And today I wanted to ask a couple of recent questions that I've had from home sellers. And so the first question comes from William, and his question is, what do rising interest rates mean for home sellers? And William, that is a great question because we know that financial experts and analysts who watch the mortgage rates and also forecast what's gonna happen do see the interest rates rising three times over 2018 and by the end of the year they are expected to be closer to five percent and so that really does affect how much home a buyer can afford for the same amount of money because of the higher interest rates they're going to be able to afford a lot less in their monthly payment and so that could mean that prices would hang steady or even drop a little bit and so if you have any concerns about that or if you're hoping to sell at the highest point in the market it's still really a good idea to think about selling right now because of all of those things okay my next question is from Bonnie and Bonnie wants to know how do I choose between multiple offers and Bonnie that's a great question because every person's needs are different so we're gonna talk to you about your goals and your needs and every offer may not be the same even if the offer price is the same so we're gonna look at the details that are not always very clear and apparent to see in the offer which could be closing cost assistance that the buyers would need if they're asking you to pay for a home warranty plan or if they're asking also for you to leave anything along with the sale that isn't generally included. So all of those things are really going to affect your bottom line. So we're going to look at each detail on its own and come up with the best choice between the offers for you to choose from. All right, my last question today is from Kenneth and Kenneth wants to know, what if I can't find a place after selling my home? And Kenneth, that is a really valid concern because we are seeing homes sell high right now and then you're going to buy at a higher point. So If you have a plan and a backup plan, you're going to be ahead of all of the other buyers out there. Hopefully you have enough equity in your home to be able to have a considerable down payment. So if you can get a a higher down payment, you're going to be already ahead of the majority of buyers out there who are using a low down payment loan option because of our higher cost of living and higher rent increases. It's harder for a lot of people to save enough for a down payment. So keep that in mind and plan ahead for as high of a down payment as you can. And also make sure you have a place to stay in the meantime if you do end up selling and you purchase your home in a couple months after that you may want to be able to stay with a friend or family member or maybe even have a short-term rental set up so that you have somewhere to go and thanks so much for joining me today once again this is Tara Freet listing specialist on the front door realty team and I'd love to hear some more questions from you and answer them in my next video so if you have any just send them back to us and I'd be happy to answer those We're here to be a real estate resource for you for anything that you need, and we're always happy to be a helping hand.